Hi, Starseed and family. How are you all doing? I am doing great. Um, enjoying my day. Hope you all are doing the same. I have another message for us from God today. So let me go ahead and pray and we'll get right into it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lord, we come humbly before your throne, God. We thank you and we praise you for your grace and your mercy, for your love and kindness, for your unconditional love. We thank you, Lord God, for protecting us from all hurt, harm, and danger, protecting our children and our families, covering us with your blood, and let no evil come near us, not our dwelling, giving your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. We give your name praise. We give your name honor. We glorify you. We magnify you. We worship worship you and exalt your holy name, God. You are worthy to be praised, to be worshipped, and to be magnified, Lord. If we had 10,000 tongues, it still wouldn't be enough to give you praise that is due to you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you into this message. I ask that you speak through me now to give this word to your people, to encourage them and enlighten them and uplift their hearts and encourage their souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, star seeds, um, like, share, and subscribe. Um, let's get the word out um, to our other brothers and sisters that may need to hear this message today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed your Father's Day and um, that you are enjoying another day in the light because you all are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. We are God's star seeds. And no matter what people try to do to us, no matter what they try to say, no matter how much magic or spell work they try to do, we have never seen a star fall out of the sky. Period. All right. So let me go ahead and get into this message. Um, <laughs> this message right here is a whole hot mess. But God... Um, wants us to wants you all all of us to be aware of the energy and what's going on what's going to be going on and i apologize in advance for the noise that you may hear outside i live uh close to the highway and it's still pretty active you know outside where i am right now at this time so um so god wants you all to know that um you know, based on the last message that he gave us concerning our twin flames, our divine partners, um, reaching out and wanting to speak to us and, you know, talk things over or whatever. Um, so that has happened for a lot of you all. Um, and today is actually June 21st, the first day of summer. So a lot of a, you may have... Um, receive communication from your divine partners um, before this date or um, it hasn't happened yet but it's going to happen soon so God is wanting to let you all know that the karmic and the groups the karmic group that was in cahoots with the karmic um trying to take you all down and they're trying to destroy your relationships with your twin flames and your soulmates, divine partners. Now um, that everything has backfired that they tried to do, every last one of them is in a panic right now. 
the karmic and the coven of witches that she or he was a part of. Um, this whole karmic group is um, panicking. They're having nightmares. They're being haunted by you all's ancestors. Um, they lack intuition, so they can't, you know, they don't, they can't figure out what's going on. They can't track your energy to try to figure out what is going on with you or what's going on with your divine partners. Um, they're having hallucinations, like all of the, the magic and spell work that they were sending towards you all has backfired and going back to the senders. So everything that they wanted to happen to you is happening to them now. And they're experiencing paranoia, having hallucinations, and very emotionally imbalanced at this time. A lot of them are having a... And y'all hear that uh, beeping in the background? That's my um, <laughs> my pressure cooker going off. But also that is a confirmation that God is letting you know that this is happening to them. Um, they are having a mental breakdown over this twin flame soulmate connection. So um, the karmic um, told a bunch of lies to this karmic group of people that they had working in cahoots with them. So they were being spiritual bullies towards you all, um, lacking structure and discipline, very cold and ruthless, violent, brutal, tyrants, um, dishonest and we're trying to control your divine union with your partners. Um, they're very angry and arrogant, have bad tempers, very impulsive and reckless. And um, at this time, because they're being found out Everything is going back to them. It has backfired. And they're realizing that they made some very bad decisions. Causing a separation or breakup between divine unions. And that they were um, very manipulative and energy vampires towards you all. Uh, for some reason that they thought that that you were that they were going to be your downfall and I actually had somebody to tell me this <laughs> like almost a year ago um, that that um, that they were going to be my down, my downfall and I was like girl please you must not know who my God is but they are definitely finding out right about now I will say that. And so they were doing all of this towards you and you were just still chilling. God still taking care of you, blessing you even more. And now that all of their um, spell work has backfired on them, everything that they were trying to take from you is coming back to you tenfold. And they're receiving their magic to themselves tenfold. So they were pretty much just doing spell work and magic on themselves. But for some reason, they thought they were protected. I don't know. I'm not sure why. But they're finding out now that they are not above God or his laws. Um, they were very manipulative, um, they lacked direction, and very sarcastic, you know, with all their flighty statements, very impulsive, very childish and immature, um, physically and spiritually. And so now, um, Saturn and Uranus 
is setting the record straight, is balancing the scales, and they are receiving bad karma. Um, they're in isolation, under heavy judgment, experiencing sudden and unpredictable changes in their lives, shifts and transformations. So um, God is pretty much making them heal at this point because he's balancing the scales. The scales always have to be balanced. And so the truth is coming out. I'm talking about like falling out. Cats are falling out the bag. Everybody is finding out what these karmic did and their groups and they are losing everything experiencing power moments um, so they're realizing that they can't do anything to you they couldn't do anything to you so they are falling apart because their magic and their spell work did not work and it was going back to them and a lot of us learn this when we're in elementary school. Um, treat others how you want to be treated. What you do unto others will come back onto you. So if you try to sabotage somebody's life, their plans, or whatever they got going on, all you're doing is sabotaging yourself. So people are, are learning a hard lesson, I guess the lessons that they didn't learn in elementary school or from their parents they're learning a hard lesson now and um and they were trying to this group this karmic and this group based on the lies that the karmic told them were trying to stop a reconciliation stop a divine union from being together and also coming back together and they're realizing now that they can't stop this and that the karmic told them a bunch of lies and got them caught up in this karmic storm in this whole hot mess and now they are turning on the karmic and telling her or him that they lied to them that they got them caught up in some stuff that they shouldn't have because a lot of them are losing big time right now. And so they're trying to figure out like, wait a minute, you told us that we were going to be getting a great fortune and we all we were all going to be splitting it together, splitting the, the money. But instead, we are losing. And so they are in deep regret because the cycle have has ended and you all are and they're finding out they're realizing that you all are heavily divinely protected and guided and they have to let go of this devil energy that they have been sending towards you all because it's just calling causing them to to lose and causing you to gain to be more wealthy spiritually physically mentally and your spiritual gifts and they have to admit defeat and let go of all this devil energy that they were sending towards you and your divine union and so your divine partners um, they are reminiscing about you all ready to lock it down, ready to date you properly, to treat you with love and respect, and to um, to date you and court you. A lot of them were under some heavy spell work and magic by these karmic and karmic groups, covens of witches, and so now they have, God has came in and did a divine intervention and release and broken all of these spells off of them and they are um, wanting you all to forgive them and they're ready to do things right and they have learned that they need to follow their own heart instead of trying to people please others 
and make them happy and being miserable, stuck, broke, and out of alignment and out of the will of God for their lives. They're not willing to do that anymore. They are putting their foot down, standing up, setting the record straight with these karmics and also the group of karmics and their family members. Um, they are coming towards you all very passionate and very affectionate. Um, they are choosing you all. They're coming in hot and ready like the Little Caesars pieces. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but just to give y'all an example. Um, and um, this karmics are, you know, realizing that they're codependent and they're heartbroken and they need to heal. Um, they're heartbroken over this communication that is coming towards you all and also all the blessings that God is overflowing you all with. And they were, um, your divine partners are realizing that this, these karmics and their family members were snakes towards them the whole time. They were in secret competition with you all and with your divine union, with your divine partners, and just causing chaos and confusion thinking that they could take something from you, take your divine inheritance, take your divine partner, take your divine gifts and also blessings from God. But in a lot of these people had a God complex. They thought they were above God and above his law, but he is showing them that, no, you're not. You have to follow the laws just like everybody else. And your divine partners are really realizing that these people are trying to keep them trapped and stuck. They're putting on a show and being very fake. And he, he or she is very um, closed off emotionally from these karmics now. Um, they realized that they were being very codependent. Um, they were trying to charm them with sex and, you know, doing sex magic on them and uh, we're very shady and these karmics are falling apart because um, your divine partners are coming back to treat you better than they've ever had before treated treat you better than they ever treated anybody before because they realize that you are the best thing that happened to them and so they're setting the record straight with these people and strength standing their ground um, a lot of secrets and is um, just coming out about all the um, spell work and moon magic and and everything that they these karmic and the karmic group was doing. Um, your divine partners have looked deeply into the situation. They have meditated and went within, and God has been giving them spiritual downloads and messages concerning you and concerning these karmic people. And they are setting the record straight, standing their ground, putting their foot down and saying, no more. I want to be happy and I want to be with my divine partner. And this have the karmic and the groups in deep despair, up at night, can't sleep, just in having a mental breakdown over this divine soul connection that they cannot stop. And they are, um, you know, arguing and fighting still, still trying to get their way, but it is not working. They have fallen into the holes and the traps that they tried to dig for you all. And in deep regret and sorrow, but it is what it is. God has already written all of our plans and purposes for our lives. Um, they try to manipulate the energy to try to change God's will for you, to make their will for you happen in your life, but it doesn't work like that. So they, you know, try to delay it for a little while, but they cannot stop this divine union 
from being. God's plan will prevail no matter what. Um, Proverbs 19.21 Many are the plans of a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails, period. It is what it is. So God wants to let you all know um, to still to stay connected to him. Keep on um, doing what you do to protect yourself and pretty much just stay connected to God. And a lot of you all have learned that um, in this time of separation from your divine unions that you you trust in God now. Your faith is in God. So no, no matter what anybody is saying or doing, you trust in God's word. And you are good no matter what. Whether they brought these, whether God brought your divine partners back or not, you was, was still good, still happy, still peaceful, still joyful, still blessed, no matter what. Because you know God got 7 billion people in this world. And if your divine partners didn't want to you know, wake up and come back and treat you like how they should have or how they should. God always have a ram in the bush. So you are good. And um, you're just, you know what I'm saying, in total bliss looking at this whole situation because you are the observer having an experience. And so... God wants you all to, you know, just make sure you just stay connected to him so that you can be in tune, tapped in, and listening to his um, instructions and directions for you. And so that's all I have for us today. You all be blessed. God love you. I love you. Love and light. Treat yourself and other people right. Talk to you soon. Bye.